Hi guys, if you want to learn some useful English expressions with examples, you are watching the right video. Today, I'll teach you more than 35 must-know expressions that you can use in daily conversations with the native speakers. These expressions are from the next part of the episode 1 of 100 Humans that I covered last week. So, if you haven't watched it yet, check out this video. Okay, let's dive in. It's time to put Sam's theory to the test. It's time to do something. We use this almost every day. For example, I go to a party with my friends. I enjoy that very much, but it's already 1 a.m. And one of my friends says, Hey guys, it's time to go home. I hate that. As you see, there is always one friend who is acting like a parent or teacher, right? Also, we can use this, it's time to do something in many other cases. It's time to go to school, it's time to go to bed, it's time to have lunch, etc. etc. Put same theory to the test. Put something to the test means to test how good someone or something is. For example, I bought a brand new sports car. And I say, I'm going to put my car to the test tomorrow and see how fast it will go. Another example. Let's say we have a problem to solve. And only Brian raises his hand and says, I can solve this problem. Everyone says, OK, let's put Brian to the test and see if he could solve this problem. We are looking for some volunteers. We use this B with the ING form to talk about unfinished actions that are going on right now. For example, I come into my son's room and ask him, what are you doing? And he says, I am listening to music. Also, you can use this B plus ING form to talk about something that you are going to do in the very near future. For example, I am going to a party tonight with my friends. Do you know when to use some, several, and many? Several is used to mean more than some, but less than many. You can use some for countable and non-countable objects. For example, can I have some water? I use some for non-countable objects in this case. And I can say, I have some drinks on the table. In this case, drinks means I have a Coke, Sprite, beer, juice, etc. So I can count them, right? So in this case, I use some for countable objects. But several and many can be used only for countable objects. For example, can we have several glasses of water? And especially these days, we have great weather here in California. So people come to the park to enjoy the day. So I can say, oh, there are many people in the park. If you are willing to compete in a dance contest, this willing means to be ready, eager, or prepared to do something. So for example, if I want to help my friends anytime they ask me for help, then I can say, I am willing to help my friends whenever they need me. Then you may ask, can I use want to instead of willing to in this case? But want to um, shows an active desire to do something. So it is a little bit different from willing to. So let's see uh, the difference between these two in a sentence. For example, I want to be rich, so I'm willing to work hard to become so. So do you see the difference between these two? To determine whether or not a man's dance skills have any correlation, um, the phrase whether or not typically means that something will happen or not happen. So this is very similar in meaning to if. For example, if you're not sure whether you will go to the park, this means that I might go or stay home. Also, you can use this whether or not to say that it is not important which of two possibilities is true. For example, whether or not you like it, I'll do it. 
by any means necessary. This means by doing whatever is needed, no matter how. So for example, I can say this way. To survive, I did whatever I had to do by any means necessary. We wanted to check in with neuroscientists. Check in, you know what that means, right? To arrive and register. For example, you must have heard this one very often at the airport. You must check in at least one hour before takeoff. But check-in with is different from check-in. Check-in with means to talk with someone to find out new information. Do you know the difference between find and find out? Find means to locate something. So you can find something that you lost or something that you are searching for by your own action. So for example, you can say, oh, I found out my wallet. It fell behind my desk. On the other hand, when you find out something, that's usually knowledge or information. So you can find out something by doing some research or from someone else. So for example, you can say, oh, I found out that the English teacher was from Canada. The Picasso tale is an interesting illustration of this. Mm -hmm. Let's see the difference between illustration and example. An example is an instance of a group. For example, penguins are an example of bird species that do not fly. On the other hand, an illustration is a description or image that clarifies a statement. For example, I use pictures as illustration for my talk. Would you indulge me? It's one of my favorite stories. Indulge means to allow someone to enjoy the pleasure of. For example, although I often indulge in my favorite ice creams, I maintain a healthy weight by exercising daily. It sounds like you are very excited about it. It sounds like means to seem to be something when heard. For example, oh, it sounds like you are very tired. Or it sounds like he is doing a good job in his project. There is another expression that Americans use very often, starting with it sounds like. For example, I have a discussion with my team members and one of the members proposes a good idea. And I like to say, oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. In this case, Americans say, oh, sounds like a plan. Simple, isn't it? Okay, this is it for today. You know how to study yourself with the four step practice that I gave you last time. If you don't know what that is, check out this video. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, make sure to click on the button, like, and subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be notified when I post my next video. Thank you very much. See you next week.